is just trying to get in right where the pigment's missing and just dabbing a little bit of this, this pastel color on there. 15 beautiful historic murals rescued from the brink of destruction. The story goes is that they were found, they were getting ready to be thrown out in Glacier Park and a family came across them, was able to rescue them and then they passed those down, this was in the 50s, and then the family passed those down to their granddaughter. Hockaday Museum of Art Executive Director Alyssa Cordova says the murals are believed to have been painted sometime around 1910. They were donated to the museum in 2012. These are over 100 years old and when they came to us they had been cut out of their frame so some of, there was some damage there and they had hung in these lodges for many years so um, we've been working really hard over the last 10-15 um, years to get these all restored. The murals range in size anywhere from 4 to 13 feet wide and showcase iconic landscapes and geographical sites throughout the park. So for me to be the kind of middleman that gets to bring these paintings back to closer to what the artist intended them to look like, uh, that's a really neat thing. Art conservator Joe Abrusha has restored nine of the damaged murals. He is currently working on two pieces that will be finished in the coming months. Uh, sometimes you're just dotting, you know, just dotting things. But it's amazing how just to touch up little spots, how it just tightens up the whole piece as a whole. It's really satisfying. It's, it's, it's pretty neat. Once restored, Cordova says the murals are sent on loan to various buildings across the state. She says the restoration process is made possible thanks to community support, including a large monetary donation from the Whitefish Credit Union, allowing Joe to do his work. Because we really want these murals to be seen as much and by as many people as possible. So it's really been a community community project to get these all restored. Now the museum needs your help to find out who painted these murals as no signatures were found on any of the pieces of art. This is a mystery that is ongoing and we hope that maybe even someone in the public could help us solve if they have a family member, if they know some of that history. They were done probably by some artists here in this area. They're pretty accomplished. They're beautiful murals. So someone who did these was an accomplished artist. And the only thing we had to go on any of these, there were a few of them on the backs. They had like hallway listed or dining room or something like this. So other than that, it's hard to say, you know, and I'd hate to speculate on, on who the artist was. Cordova is asking anyone with information on the murals to contact the museum. And we need someone to help us crack the case. So if you have any information, please give it to us. Please contact the museum, call us, or go to our website and email us. We'd love to know more about these murals. The more information we have, the more we can help provide education for the public. In Kalispell, Sean Wells, MTA News.